Hey everyone, E.V. Richard here today. So, I you join me here today, and what we are going to look at is, can you charge your electric vehicle from your dryer, uh, your 220 dryer outlet, like this, right? And since I have, there's nothing in this house yet, let's go and see what you need to make that happen. There's the truck. Um, okay, lights in. All right, so what's it take to use that outlet, right? You need an adapter. So this is the part that goes into the dryer. And then if I got this one, so if you wanted to use the dryer, you can still use it, or you can use the 1450, NEMA 1450. So let's plug this in, and then we're gonna charge up, put on the adapter. But also, I have this cable, right? This is a NEMA 1450 extension cord. And this thing is rated for 50 amps. And that's what you need. You want to make sure you get one that will get you 50 amps so you're not in danger. And this is this uh, Y here is also rated for, for EV charging. So let's plug this in. So we plug this in right here. We're ready. And now let's get the charger. And I bought, I have this charger right here. And the thing, I'll show you in a minute, what I like about this charger and why I'm using this one is because it's adjustable. So I can adjust the amperage. So let's plug this in. All right, we're on. This is fired up. And we have it set for 24 amps right now. I'll leave it at 24 because most uh, dryer outlets uh, are gonna be on a 30 amp circuit. So I think 24 would be good for this right now. So let me get this out. Will this reach? All right, there we go. And then I just gotta plug it in. Okay. And we are charging, but I don't know what speed. Let me grab my phone so I can show you. But we are charging, you see that? And in the truck, what's it say? All right, it's firing up. All right, so it is right now here, 4th, 4th, 21. So it's saying by nine o'clock, I'll be back up to 80% from 54. So that's pretty good. Uh, let me go get the my phone so I can see what charging rate we're getting. Well, I wonder if I can do it from here. Maybe I can do it from here. Settings, features. Apps, settings, what the heck man, that's definitely it, so it must be features, oh charge settings, all right, it is not giving me the rate. Okay. All right, let me grab my phone real quick. One second. Okay, I got my phone now. So, what are we looking at is the energy. And we're getting 5.2 kilowatts an hour. Okay, and if you remember, when I charge on uh, 110, I get 1.2. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So let's switch this out. 
right? So we're getting 5.2, and normally I'm getting 1.2, so this is four times faster. But let's stop this charge. All right, pull that off. Then, this is our 110, plugged into 110. So, let's plug this in. All right, it's charging. But, let's see what the phone says. All right, now, see we're only getting one kilowatt an hour to where we're getting 5.2, or 1.2. And to uh, get this up to 80%, you can see it's gonna be 1834 on Sunday. All right, 1834 on Sunday. So it's very important to, uh, so when would you use this? This is 110, but I wanna get it back to the other one. So one second, let's switch this out again so we can get the faster speed. All right, so this will hang here. And here's this one. This back to 220. All right, it's charging. And what do we got? All right, so back, we're back to uh, gonna be done by nine o'clock tonight from 54 to 80%, and we're, all right, it's coming up, 3.9, 4.4, should get back to 5.2, I have sent 5.7, anyway, all right, so we got 5.2, and so, when would you use this? So, number one, if you didn't have an outlet, so, someday, we will take from the power here. I'm gonna. They would put a NEMA 1450 to where I can plug. I can plug it in right here, and I have a Grizzly that I will use to charge, and it will probably get uh, even faster than 5.2. But the reason, uh, because I only put it on 24. When I get the the circuit broke in, put in, I will probably get a 60 amp circuit dedicated. So. It'll probably give me seven, eight, nine, nine amps per hour. I mean, per hour, yeah. So, say you are uh, not in a city, or you went to go, like when I went up last year to Kansas, I, uh, I didn't have, public charging is not that much available once you get outside a city, right, or the urban area into a rule you can find them and, and dealerships are great that's what i use but i if you're staying with your parents your grandparents someone you can work it out with them to where and if you can use their dryer while you're there staying for but if you're staying there for a couple days and you're not driving it much 110 is fine you can find a 110 outlet and what you do is you don't do it just for uh for them uh, I mean, you can look at their bill and see what they charge, get charged for kilowatt hour. And then you can see how much you got. So say on this one, if I go to charging history, right? I added 16 kilowatts. So it told me I added 16 kilowatts, right? So you can take that from what you're there at that time. And then uh, you look at their bill and see where they get charged per kilowatt hour, and then you can pay them for it. So it's a good way to reimburse them for that power you get. But you can also charge faster if you need to. So you can charge from your dryer outlet, like right here. That's what we're doing here. We're charging. And once, if the dryer was here, I still could have the dryer hooked up. So it works pretty good. And you see that it is charging the truck and we're using the dryer on it. You can also use the uh, range stove.
top stove uh, oven if it's electric and it is uh, it's 220 so you can use it too but all right so you can charge on a dryer outlet and it gives you a lot four times fast speed but good test all right thanks everyone see you on the next one